Ben Franklin began the study of lightning 260 years ago, but to this day, scientists still don't fully understand how it forms. Sure, the basics are known. It's like a zap of static electricity, except on a much, much larger scale. In stormy updrafts, raindrops and ice particles rub together. Some become positive and others become negative. Then they're pushed apart by winds within the storm cloud. As a result, the cloud ends up with areas of different charge. Lightning is the spark that jumps between these areas. These sparks can also fly between the negative areas of the storm cloud and the positive areas on the ground, say through a tree or a golf club. Simple, right? But there's a problem. The electric fields measured in thunderstorm clouds typically aren't big enough to trigger a spark. So what sets it off? Maybe cosmic rays. The idea goes like this. Cosmic rays, which constantly bombard the Earth, produce fast-moving, highly energetic electrons. These electrons collide with air molecules, which produce more speeding electrons, and so on. This process is called runaway breakdown and leads to an avalanche of energetic electrons through the air. These electrons forge a conductive path in the air, which triggers the discharge of lightning. Of course, the theory hasn't been proved, and there are other ideas for sparking mechanisms as well. It will take more work to fully solve the puzzle of how lightning forms. In any case, remember, the next time you get zapped pulling on a wool sweater, it just means you momentarily caught a little bolt of lightning. For Scientific American's Instant Egghead, I'm Philip Yam.